Well, we have our first major hurricane of the 2024 season, and as of 11 o'clock this morning, Hurricane Barrel became the first Category 4 strength hurricane ever recorded in June. Right now it's sitting northeast of Venezuela and Guyana with winds of up to 130 miles per hour as it moves west northwest at 18 miles per hour. It's expected to reach the Lesser Antilles Islands and the Windward Islands by either tonight or by tomorrow early morning. Then it should weaken to a Category 3 strength hurricane by Tuesday morning before weakening to a Category 2 strength hurricane by Thursday as it reaches near the Yucatan Peninsula and the northern portions of Central America. Now there's still a little bit of uncertainty in regards to the forecast as some models say it's going to head more towards the Gulf of Mexico, but all in all it is unlikely that this storm will have any impact for central Georgia. Now looking at the tropical outlook, there's still more areas of low pressure that we're still tracking as there is a area of low pressure off the Bay of Campeche and has an 80% chance of development in the next two days, but we're confident that it's going to move more towards the west and affect the eastern portions of Mexico. But that isn't it. There is another area of low pressure right behind Hurricane Barrel and has a 70% chance of development in the next seven days to become a tropical depression. So we'll give you more updates later this week. So here are the islands under a hurricane warning. Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadine Islands, Grenada and the island of Tobago. And I would not be surprised if we see a little bit more islands added to this hurricane warning list. So here are the main takeaways for Hurricane Barrel. First category four hurricane recorded in June and it will impact the Windward Islands by tonight or by tomorrow early morning. And more importantly, it is unlikely that will impact central Georgia, but it is not impossible.